Welcome to Wakachina. We literally just arrived in Wakachina like a few hours ago. We ate and we dropped off everything at the hotel. And now we're here in the desert mountains. It's so beautiful. But we're gonna come back tomorrow because tomorrow is like our full day here. It's sunset and so, wow. There's like sand, dune buggies, it's so cool. We made it to almost the top of one of the many sand dunes that are here. And how beautiful. It's sunset, it's so pretty. And there's quite a few people here, but it's not super busy. And lots of dune buggies going out probably for a sunset drive. A few people sand surfing on this hill, I think it is, here. Wakachina is one of the many destinations that is just not talked about enough in Peru. It is quite literally a desert oasis that I would highly recommend checking out. You really only need one or two days to see everything there is to see here. Day two in Ica, heading to Wakachina. It's so hot. It's clearly the desert. Super hot. We are going to go on this main road and find a little taxi car cab thing don't know the word for it <laughs> and it's like a two minute drive into Wakatina. we could walk from where we are but it's hot so we just booked our tour and we're gonna be going on the, the, the sand dune buggy and sand surfing <laughs> later today for two hours. So I think it's one hour each tour. And we're just waiting. It's 3 p.m. here. We got here at 1.30 in Wakachina and there, that's much better. And it was basically dead. There was nobody here. Now it's three. There's a few more people here. So I assume as the day goes on, then it will get a little bit busier because it's not extremely hot. It's December, but it is quite hot. I think it was around 35, but there's no humidity, but it is still quite hot. So we found this restaurant and any dish is 30. The menu, most of the plates are 40, 35, 40. He said any dish was 30. So we're here for probably the next hour, hour and a half, and then it's off to do some activities. Hiked all the way up to the dune buggies. The adventure started. When you go into the city of Wakachina, you will see so many sellers selling all of these tours. Now, most of the tours start around 4 or 4.30 p.m. and they'll end just after sunset, so you get a perfect view of sunset while gazing over the desert. Each tour is approximately 30 Peruvian sol. They will try to sell it for 40, 45, or 50, but you can bargain them down and if you speak Spanish, it's going to be to your advantage as well. Now, one important thing to note here is that our driver for the dune buggy pictured here was crazy. He was driving up and down the hills of the sand dunes. I am very surprised that we did not tip the dune buggy as we were driving. It was wild. We didn't have helmets, but we did have pretty strong seatbelts to fasten us into the vehicles. I do want to note that I'm pretty sure our tour guide on this tour was the wildest driver. I don't think all of the drivers were the same as he was. This is just so unbelievable. So we are on the top of the top of a dune buggy and watching the most beautiful sunset in the desert. 
it's just speechless. We've been in Lima for one month now and we've traveled quite a bit throughout the city but also throughout so many other stunning towns while we've been here. It is definitely a country that I did not expect to love so much quite honestly so we'll definitely be back. When that will be is yet to be determined but some of the areas are so beautiful like right here at the mall right on the water. We will be back. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you are debating going to Lima, visiting Peru, going to any other city in Peru, I highly, highly recommend it. Thank you for joining me here and I'll see you in the next video.